Um, guys, I heard something pretty big. Uh, Rose wants to cash in for Venus during your match, so I think it'd probably be best aggro if you stood by the door and we try and stop this before it happens. I have the perfect thing in mind. I will gladly stop her. All right. Welcome to Game of Honor Show. I'm your host, Admiral Black. Join with me here on commentary. We have Ahoy Princeton. The co-op champion. The co-op champion. Arguably the best championship in Game of Honor. Arguably. Uh, people can argue. I love the co-op championships myself. There we go. But we have some good matches coming up for you guys tonight. Starting off tonight, we have a challenge mode with RPG, Liz Phoenix, and Aggro teaming up. And they will be doing a uh, challenge mode in Monster Hunter Rise. And then after that, we have Alexi versus Rose. Oh, that's gonna be a good one. That's gonna be a great match. Uh, and then for our main event, we have Cerberus Blaze defending his Game of Honor World Championship against El Gallo Azteca Ooh. in a Champions versus Champions match. However, only the World Champion is on the line. I would love to be in that position. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start our first match. So I'm gonna turn it over to Diego Cortez. The following is a co-op challenge mode in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Stepping into the arena representing real, powerful gamers. The team of Liz Phoenix and Agro. Here we have RPG. RPG stepping in the arena. I like it. They look like a team. They dress like a team. Nice. Real, powerful gamers. Oh, that's nice. I like that chant. I like that. We're forsaken. We're going to do our own. We're going to say real. Oh, that's it. Oh. So I was thinking for Forsaken, uh, Admiral, or like a real Forsaken man or something like that. I don't think, I don't think Like Forsaken works. boys. I don't think that's gonna work. You don't think so? No. Alright, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's just start with the match then. Alright, me and Princeton here on commentary for you guys. Yeah. It's been a while. It's a, my championship. I'll be back, Admiral. Keep going, keep going, Admiral. I'm gonna get my championship. I forgot. I know you told me to bring it. Okay. All right. Well, Princeton has to go get his championship. He is a co-op champion right now with his co-op partner, Matt Edwards. But we are seeing a challenge mode here tonight. Liz and Agro, they are taking on uh, Monster in Monster Hunter Rise, the new Monster Hunter game that actually just came out uh, recently. So uh, at this point in time, it looks like they are tracking the beast. Trying to find them, and uh, I wonder what they're hunting. I actually don't know what they're hunting tonight. Princeton, Boy, do you, I'm breaking a sweat over here. Princeton, do you guys know? Do you know what these guys are hunting? Yeah, they're going the great Ichizu or something like that. So it's something like that. The great Ichizu. Very interesting in this one. I haven't played much Monster Hunter Rise, but I have played a lot of Monster Hunter World. That's something a game you guys have all seen here on Game of Honor. Yep. So I'm very happy to see Rise make its appearance here in the GOH. Arena. I think that it's nice. It's a good game. So obviously there's a demo right now. Uh, Liz and Agro are using my account. They're using Kawhi Brit's account. Gotta catch my breath. I left my championship all the way in the parking lot. Oh wow. Car. Okay. You, you got out there pretty quick. It's a pretty big building. Yeah so. bro, they call me the Flash bro. Fast AF. All right. So speaking of the Flash, so these guys have to go in. Uh, this monster's kind of new. I never played uh, this monster before. before uh doing the demo mm -hmm. and he's he's kind of cool do you know the great Giros from monster hunter world yes so this one carries more than one oh they they found him so that's the big one the great chisu okay or echisu uh isushi that's what it is right there isushi he looks and like then, a kind of like a little fox he kind of looks like a, a like a, a squirrel and a chicken put together but he has <laughs> you see the little see guys that they have yes uh, you gotta you gotta take care of those quick because oh, they 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 gang up on they you. gang up on you. Okay. So uh, it's really good right now. Uh, Liz is using the long sword, which is personally one of my favorite items. I'm more of a hammer guy, mm -hmm. but the long sword would do. And then Agro as a uh, Kawaii Brit, he's playing with the dual blades. It's pretty decent. 
He's pretty good. It's a pretty good. We I mean, all the weapons are good in this game. Right. No, I know they they added a couple new weapons in this game, right? Well, they, they didn't add a new. Hunter World? They didn't add a new weapon. They added a new format. Okay. Uh, you have this thing called a wire bog, and you would. Uh, you basically throw like this little wire thing and then you can use your weapon and come down with it I only used it on the hammer, so I don't know how it plays with other things. I gotta say the game looks beautiful Yeah, it's on the switch on the switch like I'm very surprised at how well this game looks See, has this switch. waterfall right there for Liz. This, this guy is he's up. jumping all around though. I'm very surprised with all, all there, the flips and all stuff there are he's doing. So I uh, Admiral, what, what's this about RPG? Can you explain this to me? RPG, apparently Cerberus Blaze, Liz, Phoenix, and Aggro came together and created a new faction here in Game of Honor called the Real Ooh. Powerful Gamers. Liz took a lot of damage from that tail smack right there. She did, I wonder, oh, going in for the heal, definitely needed that one. That that would have never happened if she was with Forsaken, I'll tell you that, but you know. Okay, well, we haven't seen a lot of what RPG can do, but we did get to see a challenge mode with Cerberus, Blaze, and Aggro, and they did a phenomenal job. I think they did decent. So they did pretty well, so I'm happy, I'm excited to see Aggro and Liz working together in the arena tonight. Look at Liz healing before she does damage. That's a mistake. That's a mistake. You mm -hmm. should, damage is the number one thing you should always focus on when you're doing this game. Ooh, this guy has a huge range with his tail. Now keep in mind, guys, this is the first time these guys played this game. They didn't know they were doing this game when they came in. Right. So they have to learn controls right away. Mm -hmm. They have to learn how to play on the spot. And it doesn't play like the Monster Hunter world. Like, it's very similar, but the controls are very different. They're playing on the Switch, of course. Mm -hmm. So that's going to um, get them uh, wet stoning, of course. Both yep. of them. You always want to keep your weapon sharp. Uh, the more dull your weapon is, the less damage you're doing and to the beast. And it can reflect back. Yep, and it can bounce back, and that's something you don't want to happen with your weapons. Speaking of bouncing back, can we talk about how amazing it is to be a champion again? I know, it must be a feel pretty well, doesn't it? Feels it feels nice. It yeah. feels nice. I imagine. Uh, you, got, you and Matt Edwards are the first people in Game of Honor history to win a championship twice. Two times. Two times. Two times. That's right. Two time champions here. In the arena tonight, that's history, man. Yeah. You will forever go down in history as the first Game of Honor Internet Champion. This was up. The first Game of Honor Co-op Champion. The first Game of Honor World Champion. Yeah, oh, this, oh, that's not. What? That's not true. That's, that's not that true. one didn't happen, but I'm not mad about it anymore. And now you are the first ever two-time champion here in Game of Honor. Bro, I'm just, I'm just good at everything. I'm for, you skipped a couple of the accolades too. I mean, you, you I definitely was in the have first, an impressive I was in, Oh, I love that move, the sheath move. Oh, but the, the must moved. Listed the cool sheath anime thing where you sheath the sword and then you attack, but the monster. Oh, the monster. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Now this water seems like it's a little bit difficult to maneuver in. Yeah, the water. It's a little. The water's a little bit of an obstacle. Um, it looks like it's slowing down, uh, Liz here. Yeah, and then you can see in the background there's another monster. Okay. I just saw it Got earlier. It. Uh, I don't know what that monster's name is. Again, I I've been playing the demo for this only, uh, and this will be my second Monster Hunter game. Oh. Oh, he's going straight for it. What, is that a bear? That looks like a bear. Oh, they're doing turf war. That looks like a bear to me. That did not look like a turf war. That looked more like he smacked the bear once. Oh, th if they play their cards right, they can ride the... Um... Nope. No, nah, they didn't ride it. They didn't ride it. So, uh, in this game, in the trailer, they showed that you can do wave uh rider. Mm -hmm. Where you can ride a Oh, monster. it looks like the sloth bear badger. I'm not sure which one it's supposed to be. Oh, it's it looks like he's here. trying to. So trying you have to get four monsters. You have the two Ich Isushis and the great one. Uh, do you see the little guys? Yes. You gotta take them out. You gotta take them out. You gotta take them out. See how? So right there. See how they did? Yeah. While they're, uh, the great chooses down, the little ones come in and just nail on you, nail on you, nail on you. Keep, you know, they just keep. So going. that is a very difficult mechanic because I know uh, you you dealt with that a little bit in Monster Hunter World with the Jagras and with the Jiros. Yeah. And with the Jiros, it was bad because he paralyzes you, and then all these little guys like to jump on you. This guy spits. Uh, I don't know what happened. See, I don't know what happened if he spits on you. I never let him. Oh, what was that? Ooh, I don't know what that was, but they sent now. the monster flying. That's the wire bug that I was telling you about. Okay. Uh, essentially, you send a bug, and then you connect to it, and you can fly. It looks like she's trying to do something, but she's probably trying to do one of those moves that you can do with the wire bug. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if you don't know the controls... That's the bat. See, that's, that's the real challenge. That's what makes this a challenge mode, guys. It's like we said before. These guys have not played this before. This is their first time Ooh. stepping into the arena playing this game. That tell having to learn the controls. Having to successfully take down this monster. It can be a challenge. You think, you think they have it? Or 
Uh, Liz is very low on health. Here. Liz is very low on health. That would have never happened if she was with Forsaken. I can tell you right now. She has been low on health for the majority of the match here. So if she would have joined Forsaken instead of Winnie Hot Junior over here, I promise you, you see that damage? It would have never happened. Oh, they completed the challenge. Yes. Awesome. Successfully completed the challenge mode. Barely. Liz, Agro win. They're gonna win themselves forty points of experience. Congratulations, guys! Congratulations. By yes. the end of the day, you guys ain't no champions. But I'll tell you what, though, I pop you. I'll, you know what? I'll hype you up a little bit, guys. You did good. You're good. You got you got Mox kids. You know, maybe one day you guys can look in the mirror and say, "Wow, I'm a champion." But that time ain't now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna go to commercial. And when we come back, we're gonna come back with Alexi versus Rose, and then after that, our world champion Cerberus Blaze will be defending his championship against. A guy else step up. Guy less tech. Yeah. You know what? That's uh, interesting. Why is that interesting? Because it's a champion versus champion. Champion versus champion. So Azteca match. can possibly walk out. The two championships. The two championships. Yeah. While uh, Blaze, ha uh, Azteca has nothing to lose because Blaze can't win the player one. Nope. Blaze cannot win the player one championship, but Azteca can walk away with two championships tonight. So. If Blaze plays his card right, he could be the first ever epic champion here on Game of Honor. But we're going to take that commercial break and we'll be right back with more. Alright, I want a good match. We're both champions. Mm -hmm. So, audience, why are we champions? Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Likewise, man. Dom. You gone done did it. How how'd you beat me with the Sun Kern, man? I got Sun Kern. Out of all the Pokemon you could be using, I lost to a Sun Kern. Good game, man. Good game. Man. Hey. Guys, hold on. I'll be back. I gotta go talk to Princeton. He does this every now and then. Just don't don't go anywhere, okay? Just stay here. I'll be right back. Where's he at? Princeton! Princeton, where? Oh! Princeton! <laughs> Princeton! Princeton! Check your pockets, your forsaken shirt. It's in your pockets. <clears throat> oh, he's gone. Oh, there he is. Feeling better? Way better. That's good, man. That's What's good. Up, you know, you got to keep that Forsaken shirt on you at all yeah. times. If you ever lose it, you know where to find it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know. ProWrestlingTees.com slash Game of Honor. Honor. We are currently working on Shocking Truth Season 2. Season 2 of Shocking Truth will have seven new contestants. And Season 1 runner-up, Rose, will join the new bracket. If you haven't seen the first season, you can find it on youtube.com slash Game of Honor Show. So you probably wonder wondering why I'm out here in the parking lot, but let you guys in on a little secret. I know what's going on between Venus and Rose. Just checking out the parking lot here, see if anyone plans on cashing in. You know, because I heard there's a plan in place that they're going to try and take Blaze's uh, championship. So, just going to try and make sure that doesn't happen. The following match is set for one fall in Kirby Fighters. Now stepping in at level 6 with 11 overall wins. The Fallen Angel, Rose. Here comes Rose stepping into the arena. She looks like she's ready for her match tonight. No worries, nothing but smiles on her face. And her opponent stepping into the arena for her second match here in Game of Honor Show. I'd like to give a warm welcome to Game of Honor Junior, Alexi. Game of Honor Junior. Right, here comes Alexi stepping into the arena for her second match here in Game of Honor. I wonder if she's ready to redeem herself uh, after her match last week.
All right, we have Alexi versus Rose here, Kirby Fighters. Uh, this is a very, very fun game, very cutesy game. Uh, I do like Kirby Fighters a lot. I play it just occasionally in my in my spare time. Uh, me, Princeton, some of the other players here in Game of Honor have sat down and played this game. It was pretty. It was a pretty fun time. So it looks like uh, Rose here is using Archer Kirby, and Alexi is using Ninja Ninja Kirby. So uh, this is a best two of three match. However. However, they cannot use the same character each round. Oh, that's fun. So, uh, it adds a little bit of difficulty to the match. Oh, we got our first victory right here. Looks like Alexi wins the first, the first round. So, they're going to go ahead and pick their other characters, and then we're going to go right into round two. Yeah, this is a very fast game. Mm -hmm. um, it's, all, it's also very, I, I don't want to say simple because there are aspects to it, but it's a very kind of chaotic fighting game. It is. It is. Uh, it does add a little bit of a challenge. Paint Kirby, by the way, what Rose is using. I love Paint Kirby. Very, very beautiful Kirby. Uh, and then Rose has decided to go with Bomb Kirby here. Yeah. So uh, I think Paint Kirby does nice because when it swings its brush, it hits such a wide area that it actually not only does it protect itself, but it also does considerable amount of damage and has pretty good range. Ooh, that bomb's about to go off. Yep. Yeah, I, I've played this game too. It's it's fun. It's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. um, like I, it's it's not super skill based. I feel like there's a big luck element because there's always items on and like a bunch of you can never turn off stage hazards. There's always an element of luck to everything. Right. Um, and I think that's what adds the challenge is trying to dodge the stage hazards. Like you have this bird here that's attacking them. You have all these items on the stage. And it's very much, if you don't pay attention, you can lose sight of your character very quickly. And that can cost you the game. Oh, it looks like Alexi managed to win the second round as well. Congratulations, Alexi coming in, beating a veteran here in Game of Honor, being Rose. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. She's gonna win herself 30 points of experience. I believe this is also her first win, correct? This is her first win here in Game of Honor. So congratulations, Alexi. Uh, that was a pretty, pretty good match. Pretty good match. Uh, but we're gonna go to commercial, and when we come back, we're gonna come back with our world champion, Cerberus Blaze, defending his world championship against El Gallo Azteca. A champion versus champions match. However, however, while Azteca has nothing to lose in this match, Blaze has quite a quite a good bit to lose because he could lose his world championship and Azteca can walk away with two champions and become the first ever epic champion here in Game of Honor. So depending on how things go tonight, we might be making history guys. But we're gonna go to commercial and we'll be right back with more Game of Honor. Okay, today is the day. This is the moment. I'm gonna cash in. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, by Venus, she's hiding in the arena somewhere. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna be like, hello! And I'm gonna cash in. And I can't see anything possibly going wrong. I mean, I've literally thought about everything. Big brain. Big brain. Hi! Hello! Welcome to Papa's Diner. In Papa's Diner, you'll see recipes you can make at home easily. Swing by one of the episodes and you'll walk out a better cook. You can find me at youtube.com slash Game of Honor Show. Hello there, Matt Edwards here. Just letting you know you can find GOH music on most music streaming platforms. Not only will you find the player's entrance themes, but you can find the soundtracks for Final Stage. And hey, if you wanted to play my theme song on repeat, I wouldn't blame you. Well, that's all for today. See you next time. The following is a Champions vs. Champions match for the Game of Honor World Championship. Stepping into the arena at level 4, hailing from the prestigious clan of gamers, the Aztec Gamer and our Player 1 Champion, El Gallo Azteca. Right, here comes El Gallo Azteca stepping into the arena. I tell you man, for our inaugural Player 1 Champion, that belt looks good on him. He wears that title well, and uh, honestly, I don't know who else can be our player one champion at this point. I think it just looks phenomenal. Real powerful gamer. 
and his opponent stepping into the arena at level 2 accompanied by the real powerful gamers. He is our Game of Honor World Champion, Cerberus Blaze. Okay, Cerberus Blaze coming in confident. I wonder, is there any doubt in his mind that he may lose that World Championship match? Of course, his co-op partners, Agro and Liz, standing guard. Alright, here we go. We got a world championship match right now. Championships on the line. Cerberus Blaze has the world to lose, literally, while Azteca has nothing to lose on this match. Uh, they are playing as Scizor and Blaziken. Cerberus Blaze is playing as Blaziken, and Ogayo Azteca is playing as Scizor. Ooh, right away, right away, we got Cerberus Blaze coming in for some uh, coming in for some damage on Scizor. Very impressive. Uh, I gotta say, I've used Scizor before, and what I really like about him is that he's a hundred percent an aerial fighter. Uh, he's very, very good. He's his has close range and long range attacks. He's good in the air. He's good with mobility. He's one of my favorite, personal favorite characters to use, and I 100% see why El Gallo Azteca has chosen to use him in this match tonight. Yeah, uh, coming with the support there, um, trying to I think lower stats. I'm I forget what Togekiss does, um, but yeah, um, Azteca is uh, drilling really hard into Blaze right here. Ooh, oh, and this might be that's it. Yeah. That's it. El Gallo Azteca manages to take that first point. What a good start to mm -hmm. this match. Azteca is showing that he wants that world championship. He's showing that he's willing to put it all on the line tonight uh, to walk away with that big gold, the world championship, the world title. And not only that, if he manages to take it, he'll be our first epic champion. He will be our first epic champion. Uh, an epic champion here in Game of Honor is someone who holds two different championship titles at the same time. So, uh, El Gallo Azteca can certainly make history tonight. Uh, Blazes Blaziken went for a, a Mega Evolution here, but oh, going for the special. Hits it. Yeah, the special is the only thing he's managed to hit, though. Um, Azteca actually managed to pin him down very well for the entire first chunk of that match. Yeah, it did. Takes out about a third of uh, Azteca's HP there. And the beautiful part about uh, Blaziken's special is that it raises his speed. His speed stat actually goes up. And uh, if, if I must say, that's actually really dangerous on him mm -hmm. because he's such a fast attacker already. But when he has that speed boost, he becomes, not only does he hit hard, but he becomes very difficult to actually counter. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm surprised uh, so close, that... Only set, um, Blaze only has 7 HP left. I'm surprised that Blaze has survived this long, if I'm being honest. I don't think he can make a comeback in this one. Oh, oh it, wow. It the combos there. Very nice combination of attack. Yo, is he going to... Oh, 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 he came he, back. He did come back there. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Uh, Cerberus Blaze actually managed to make a comeback using Blaziken. That is surprising, man. You know, sometimes in these fighting games, that's all it takes, if I'm being honest. Just, that's all it takes. Just one good combo? One good combo to take your opponent out, and that's exactly, exactly what Blaze did tonight. But it's not over yet. This is a best of two sets. So uh, there is going to be a good bit of time to make that comeback. It's nobody's game yet. Uh, but I will say that I think Blaze might have the lead here. Uh, who knows? Who yeah. knows? Um, I see that Azteca's trying to get in the air a little bit more, which is smart. That's more of his element. Yeah, Az Azteca had a very good start, but Blaze knocked him out of the phase shift. And just like, it's been back and forth since then. Um, Azteca going in for a good set of combos, again, has Blaze down to about a third of his HP. Like, that, that seems to be what I'm seeing is that um, Azteca does a very good start and gets Blaze real low, but when, Bla when Blaze is low, he comes back and just, like, is able to really turn things around. You can tell that he stays focused, uh, and that's, I feel like, is very important when it comes to playing yeah. uh, Pokémon, is that you need to be focused. It, I think that's actually oh, very important and, with uh, any funny game. Gets in there with a special, like, during the combo. Hits it, nice. He's gonna go to do a very good chunk of damage here. Could you imagine if stat act, or not stat if uh, typing uh, actually mattered? Yeah, <laughs> Just like, four I, I think, times weakness to fire. I, I think there's lore in the game that spe specifies they don't use status for that reason or something to make things more evenly matched. Very nice, Cerberus Blaze, taking it home, taking home that first set. 
But uh, oh. It's cash and time, Oh, baby. Yeah. Earl's coming in with the, with the Drop water bars. Drop the case. Drop it. All right, uh, well, Rose just tried to walk in here with the pre-order bonus, but was stopped by Agro, who was keeping guard. Looks like RPG had a plan to prevent Venus from cashing in that pre-order bonus, so looks like we won't be having a successful cash-in tonight. So, back to the action here. Uh, they are picking their support characters. Ooh, Togekiss. Going with Togekiss, that's a very smart move, using the Togekiss. Uh, who got that first hit? Of course. That was Azteca. Azteca is very good hit. at getting the first hit in. Azteca, Azteca is very aggressive in this game. But that yeah. also might be his downfall. Because when you're too aggressive, it, it often leads openings uh, for your opponent to capitalize on. And maybe that's what we're seeing from Server's Blaze tonight. Hmm. Uh, he's just beating down on um, Blaze here. Yeah, he's doing very well. He's doing very well. Yeah, you, you say that aggressiveness might be a bad side, but it allows him to take down huge chunks of uh, HP. He just has to do it in the late part of the game, right? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. It's like right and here. there it is. Oh, there it is. First point goes to Azteca. Yep, Azteca takes that first point. So uh, I will say that if he does get aggressive towards the end when uh, Cerberus doesn't have as much HP, I think that Cerberus starts to take the tides when his stats go up. So once he starts getting that speed boost, he rushes into his opponent, and he hits those combos, and he hits them well. Uh, I see a little bit more guarding coming from uh, Cerberus Blaze oh, yeah, here. Very smart. He's guarding heavily. I think um, Blaze is very close, or not Blaze, um, Aztec is very close to, yeah, his, um, his god is maxed out, so he can mega evolve at any time and go for that special. And guarding's the main way to get out of um, getting hit by that special, too. So like, I think that might be part of the idea. That, that probably is. You also want to be careful of grabs, though. I see we're, we're not seeing many grabs, um, which isn't, isn't necessarily a bad thing. But if the opponent keeps guarding, then maybe we'll see more grabs come into play because grabs do break through your opponent's yeah. guard. This is a round where um, uh, Blaze has just been dominating. Goes for the special. Hits it. Yeah, hits it and doesn't even need to go into the finishing animation. He just takes him down. Excellent. That was, that was I want to say that round was very one-sided to Blaze. Uh, Blaze definitely came in. He guarded. He ke he. You could tell he learned by playing against Azteca. He's learning that Azteca goes really aggressive in the beginning, so he put up a good defense, waited for that opening, and he came back. Uh, doesn't seem to have worked this time though. It seems like Azteca was able to adapt yeah, to the strategy. The shift. That will -O gets him. It lowers his his offensive stats. It does lower his offensive stats. Lowering stats is very dangerous uh, in this game because you're not hitting as hard. You're not hitting as hard, you're not moving as fast, sometimes no. you'll take more damage. It's like, it's, um, stat boosts actually are very important. In this Going game. in for the special, ooh, Guarded blocked. And gets that speed drop because of the, uh, the Rotom. Mm -hmm. So these both are, they're playing on equal ground right now because they both have a speed drop. So well, essentially, off, like they're both at a disadvantage at least. They are at a disadvantage. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Blaze is at very low HP. Azteca, again, doing a very powerful combo. Dodges the, um, the high jump kick there. Look how low. Look how low Cerberus Blaze's health is right now. Look how low it is. But the comeback that he's doing, though. Oh, like he's very close. Oh, wow. Is he going to take this? Double guard. Both. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and counters and takes, oh, takes down Azteca. And that's the second set, I believe. That's the second set. Cerberus Blaze wins. Cerberus Blaze successfully defends his Game of Honor World Championship. He shows why he's a champion here in Game of Honor, why he's a world champion at that. He's going to win himself 50 points of experience tonight. Thank you guys for watching. That's all we have for you in Game of Honor Show. Make sure you follow us on social media. Subscribe to us on Twitch. Follow us on uh, follow us on Twitch. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you want to subscribe on Twitch, shoot, do that too. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Join the Game of Honor Discord community. We'll see you next show. You know, here in Forsaken, we like to give people an exhibition. We like to give them a match, uh, something to talk about. So we're going to open in a challenge for any tech team, whether it's corruption, uh, RPG, or any Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. Lights are, lights are off. Okay. Well, anyways, I was, oh. You did that? That's not funny. Uh, no, no, no. Do you? No, that, that, that's not cool. Okay. All right. I don't.
Yeah, it was just. Yeah, no, we're yeah, out. Out. That's not funny. Whoever did that. Yep. No, no, it's not, it's not funny. Yep. Sorry.